Jonathan, yeah. I really appreciate you being here. Really happy to be here. Will you take just a few seconds, introduce yourself and your relationship with Brightseed? Yeah. So my name is Jonathan Gunn. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Brightseed. We're a smart surgical technology company uh, out of the Midwest. Uh, and we're really making the next generation of smart surgical tools, tools that can actually provide visual anatomical information to surgeons in real time, allowing them to provide safer, more efficient surgeries where maybe they had a tough time identifying critical tissues in the past. Um, and we're really passionate uh, about uh, what we do. We've got a, a great team. Uh, of experts in the biophotonics world, in the clinical applications world, in the signal processing and artificial intelligence world, and we combine all of those great, passionate team members to create this next generation technology. Wow. Well, I know for a fact it's already been very successful. You were the 2015 winner of the MedTech Innovator Program, so congratulations so there. Much. So did you develop an interest in technology at an early age, or was there a specific event that led you into the medical device industry? You know, it was really a personal experience. Um, I was on my way to becoming a lawyer, of all things, um, when my mom uh, was diagnosed with breast cancer. Um, it had a profound effect on my family as well as myself and I decided to dedicate myself to advancing new technologies in the oncology space and so I went out and did primary research in that area for a number of years and got familiar with intraoperative imaging and using that technology that we created for uh, surgical applications uh, and it was a great motivator of mine. Um, and then I had the opportunity, along with my co-founders, to create Brightseed uh, uh, while we were actually grad students at Northwestern University. Uh, and that was a number of years ago, uh, and uh, we were actually in an operation uh, at Northwestern Memorial when we saw an inadvertent cut during one of these surgeries. And what we recognize is, even with these amazing surgeons, and to no fault of their own, uh, conducting minimally invasive surgery is still really difficult. Uh, and additional support had to be brought into the operating room. And, and we thought, boy, uh, you know, if only the tools could be smarter, if only uh, the, the facilities that we offer, these talented surgeons, could be better, we could have better patient outcomes. We could do even more minimally invasive surgeries versus the more invasive open approach. Um, and we can do them faster. And so that was really the impetus for creating Brightseed and, and how we got started was to just begin to create the foundation for this technology that would create the next generation of surgical tools. Excellent, I can feel your passion. My mother was diagnosed with cancer and I shifted my entire life so I can dedicate myself to improve patient care and prolonging her life. Yeah. So I appreciate everything that you do and my heart feels for you as well. So in grad school, um, you, did you know for a fact that technology is where you wanted to go with it, or just meeting the right friendships that led you down that path to Brightseed, which you just explained? You know, it really is um, a strong passion around creating things that didn't exist before that, uh, that you can hold, that you can take into an operating room. Um, and that's translated. I did a lot of early stage primary research, but one of the things we didn't get to do was translate and see the effect of that technology uh, in the patient's lives, in the surgeon's lives. And so that's really what we focused Brightseed around, was creating tools that could really make an impact. And that begins with surgeon engagement, um, working with uh, surgeon uh, key opinion leaders from across specialties, understanding exactly the problems that they run into, and then bringing together that world-class engineering team to execute on uh, the needs of the surgeon and create the tools that these surgeons really need uh, to create, create the best impact in patient lives that we can. Um, and so that was really where uh, the difference between, I think, my early stage research career and where Brightseed lies is really how we can take novel technologies and move them into a commercially viable space and create tools that surgeons are excited about using. That's amazing to me. Oh, what was your last milestone that you achieved? You know, what's really been exciting over the last 18 months is an artificial intelligence uh, program that we started. You know, we were really impressed by the technology our engineers were able to create over the first two to three years of the company's life. 
95% success rate in identifying critical tissues. Um, but using machine learning and now deep learning, we've been able to bump up that uh, accuracy rate to no more than 99.8% accuracy. And so just seeing how effective new technologies uh, are um, has really emboldened us. And so we've created a bright seed, what we call smart vision engine that uses close to 30,000 data points from studies that we've conducted to really be able to identify critical vessels in all kinds of circumstances, inflamed tissue, reoperations, and so on, so that we have a really unique and novel approach to identifying these tissues, and we've got a hugely enabling technology driving these products forward. Knowing where you wanted Brightseed to go, what was your number one priority or the number one thing you looked for when you developed your team initially? Mm. It's a great question. So, you know, there are obviously different phases of any company. And early on when we were bringing our first co-founders together and our initial team together, it was really to create that underlying technology that de-risks all of the different aspects of creating a sophisticated optical technology platform in a very complex area like intraoperative imaging uh, and, and tool development. So from that perspective, we had to bring in great engineers that could do a lot of that front-end development. And now we're really bringing on additional expertise and guidance on the product development side. And so not only are we thinking about how this technology is going to impact laparoscopic surgery, but we're thinking about how we're really going to create the technologies that are going to do for the robotic uh, surgery in, uh, industry what the sensors on cars have done for the autonomous vehicle industry. Because what really, we really see is the analog is that we're providing the sensing and guidance during surgery that's going to be critical for these next generation surgical systems that are going to dominate over the next 10, 20 years. And we really see what we're doing as a cornerstone of that. I would say that you are not just the cornerstone, but you're the tip of the pyramid for the evolution of the medical device space, which is extremely exciting, and I feel very honored to be sitting with you and to say I knew him when. <laughs> Coming into 2018, what are your priorities for Brightseed? You know, right now we're really fortunate to be building our first product, uh, the, the Brightseed Smart Grasper, and take that through product development and see it go to the FDA next year. Um, and so we're very proud of that. Um, but what's also exciting is that we're thinking about that pipeline of technologies and our engineers are continuing to execute on the development of the follow-on technologies that will allow surgeons to not only identify arteries and veins but also ureters, bile ducts, stomach and other critical tissues. Uh, and so, you know, we're building uh, a great IP portfolio around all of those implementations. Um, while at the same time we get to be building our first tool that's going to be in patients by the end of next year, beginning of 2020. So it's, it's a breakout year for Brightseed. Um, you know, we're excited to bring on new partners that are going to help us execute on our vision and be able to uh, provide that great surgeon experience next year. Um, and we're aligning uh, new investment uh, and support in 2018. Perfect. Well, definitely keep me informed. Banner year. That's I'm excited right. for you. Huge congratulations, Thanks Jonathan. So much. What a great chat. Really appreciate you being here. Absolutely. Thank Thanks. you.